Hey gang, Diana here today with a, an organizational video. That's my desk though, today. <laughs> I had to show it to you. <laughs> Such a mess. So let me just go down and explain to you what I am doing with these Ross Cog carts. I love hearing what people are doing, so I thought I'd share what I am. These are all works in progress, projects that I am currently working on in this cart. So I'm really loving this. It's keeping my desk, desk cleaner. Well, sometimes. And I can keep really everything it fits in here. I have, I think, five, six projects going. This case is an art bin case and I will find find it and link it below. It used to have a lid but, um, well, I kind of ran into a bit of trouble. Uh, and I'm glad, actually, that the lid is gone. It was great. I, it was great to use if you, if you travel around teaching. This is a great thing to have. It has all these little compartments in it. Let me come closer. It has all these small compartments in it. So I used to keep um, supplies in here, papers in here. And now I have um, cardstock folded. I have a lot of die cuts, and that's the reason for this, is that a lot of times I do just die cut. I really enjoy it. So I put die cuts into these little uh, baggies that you use for cards. I'll list those below, too. And... Also stickers and other stuff. Um, you can say envelopes and uh, small pieces of decorative paper that I have made. Taking a closer look at die cuts and paper scraps, here's the way I store them. I save a lot of these bags that products come in and use these um, I try to sometimes keep like with like. <laughs> I'm not always successful with that. I just, um, again, I like that little element of surprise, I have to admit. Now, here's a little tip. Just put tiny die cuts or pieces of paper onto a sticky note. These aren't, stick aren't going to stick in here, but... That's all the pretty uh, Pink Fresh Studio papers. I don't know why that's there. But that's basically what I do. And I also use these little um, cellophane, I think they're called, bags that you that fit cards for sale. I use these a lot for that. They're relatively inexpensive and clear. But mostly I do save my bags that come in. In the magazine boxes, I forget exactly what they're called, I keep more cardstock, colored cardstock. Um, these are my flow magazines or magazines that I want to either use as inspiration or cut up. Then I have these scrapbook containers. I'm not sure what all this stuff is called, but I will try to link it below <laughs> and I keep um, like my cut and dry and double-sided adhesive and all that stuff tracing paper then scrapbook papers are in here and then and these kinds of things again I'm, I'm not sure what they're called but I will find them and link them and these actually have um, you know, they have a snap on them so you can close them. And then my good art paper, I also keep a lot of that Stonehenge. And there's some arches laid in here. Right next to the magazine holders and the cropper hopper thingies. Um, and I have this eight slot uh, organizer I think it's staples. I'm pretty sure. Let me look at the tag. Yep, staples. So I usually keep 
I keep some pads of paper up here and I also keep like white cardstock up here. I just removed it so you could see. I think this is really a great solution. I've also used uh, pot and pan racks. There's pan racks for the kitchen. They're really good too. So that's another solution. These flat storage drawers, um, I know they're, they're pretty pricey. I, I got them from my husband and his father when they went out of business. They had an ad agency. So I keep old art in here and I keep paper in here. Old art. <laughs> but this is where I keep more paper and larger sheets of paper. And colored paper. So that's a very handy thing um, at these flat storage drawers. Um, this, what I use is a, just a shop um, table. So it has adjustable shelves and in these bins I keep papers like and then I just put a big piece of paper in there saying what's in there. And that one down there is upside down, but I still can. That one, I'm not sure where the thing is. But I have found this to be really a good way uh, to store papers. And it, it really is easy to store them that way. I believe this is all tissue and also fabric paper so I, I just need to fish out the fish out the label uh, let's take a closer look at the um, one of these bins and I dig, dig out the paper so I just put that in the front of the bin actually it goes it stores this way so I put it in the bin so I can see it on my shelf and then in the bin I actually I actually do have um, file folders that I try to keep these semi organized so transparencies and Images for transfer. Boy, I haven't done that in a really long time. So, but that's that's the way. Uh, this is just says collage. So I'm not really sure what's in here. Looks like a mishmash of stuff. And then Words has some book pages. I clearly need to go through this and tidy this up. But that's okay. If you have a system in place, it does make it easier to tidy it up. I'm over in the classroom now and I wanted to show you this idea and this is just basically random papers. They're usually a little bit more random than that. That doesn't look, that looks like a lot of black and white in there. But for this I can, and I just really randomly throw things in here. Like for instance, these leisure, um, ledger sheets I can just throw in here and then for my classes I can just pull out a big Ziploc bag and these are those extra large Ziploc bags and I find this to be very very handy yeah this is another one that is a little bit more randomized and it has book and music pages and then it also has decorative paper sorry for the and maps so this is really a better example. In the classroom, I have these cubbies that are built into the eaves that I have uh, covered with curtains, so it's not too much of um, it's not too distracting. And here's the other side of the room, and um, you can see that I have papers in this one and. There's a lot of paper in here actually that I have stored in the same way as in the studio in those pot racks or wire files. 
And finally, and probably most conveniently, there's a box of paper right behind my desk on my bookshelves. Panning up, panning down, don't get dizzy. And a lot of times I miss throwing things in there. So I use that. And God only knows what's in here. I have no idea. I go searching through it and I just wind up with a pile of stuff. And a lot of times that's just what I use. I hope this was a helpful video. I've made some of these videos in the past and I, I will link it link them. Um, this one in particular just concentrates on paper so and we mixed media people uh, hoard paper and we find weird paper so it can be a little tricky to store them to figure out where they are so we can find them again and I really do think that one of my favorite things to do is just grab a bag of them or a box but um, that should be limited. I, I do think that should be a limited amount. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you soon.